crew at the scene of that Highway 154 closure and we'll bring you those images as soon as they are available. And the creeks in Montecito are flowing this morning, but so far those hillsides are holding up. Our reporter John Palmentary has been out there all morning long checking out those possible trouble spots. He joins us live from Montecito with an update. Good morning, John. Good morning. We are here along Montecito Creek in the area where Hot Springs and Olive Mill Road comes together. Earlier this morning it was so dark we could only hear it and see just a little bit of it. Now we can see it was just ripping around the curb there by Casa Dorinda. But staying within its banks, and that's good news, it has risen significantly since earlier this morning. We did have a couple of downpours, but the rain has not been very intense or prolonged since we've been here. And it looks like it's all flowing where it needs to flow right now and no major problems in this area. This goes down under the freeway and then out to the ocean there. And we have seen it go over its banks and go through neighborhoods, but none of that is occurring right now. Now, earlier today, we were out uh, in the early morning hours along Padero and Via Real, where we had a tree down there blocking lanes. Also in the funk zone, we saw some uh, precautionary signs for flooding and barricades up there on Yadanali, Anacapa Street, Santa Barbara Street, and that area that normally does not do well in absorbing the water or processing it well, and oftentimes one or more drains get clogged. For me, when the times that I went through there, about five times in the overnight hours, everything was going where it was supposed to go. The emergency responders have equipment staged, including big bulldozers, swift water rescue teams, outside agencies have come in to assess, and many of the agencies uh, on the front country are patrolling the streets and looking at some of the hot spots that they know could be a critical concern if we get more rain or if something should happen. For example, a tree getting in here and clogging this up and then blowing it out over the embankments. That could happen anywhere along uh, the uh, washout of any of these creeks. Romero, Oak, uh, San Ysidro, here we are at Montecito, Sycamore, Mission Creek, any of those could have this problem if we get debris or trees that fall in there. For the most part, it's all moving very smoothly. The rain has let up and looks like we're going to get out of this uh, with some clear skies by this afternoon. We'll certainly follow up on what might be on the ground because as Annika said in our first alert weather center, that is treacherous for drivers, bikers, joggers, anybody going through an area they don't expect to see debris or mud or some of the residual leftovers. That will catch you off guard. And especially in the construction zone on Highway 101 in Summerland, that with the K rails and that configuration, you get water in there as well. It's already treacherous. And that's going to be an area of severe concern for drivers this morning. Reporting live along Montecito Creek, where things are looking pretty well, although it is roaring down towards the ocean. I'm News Channel reporter John Palmentary. All right, John, thank you so much. And in anticipation of this storm, hundreds of homes were evacuated. Officials are meeting right now.